Hey, this is Brad with umptracker.com, and today is August 31st, and I'm going to talk about the uh, profile app, give a little bit of an introduction to that. Okay, so right now we're at the home page, and there's two ways to get to the profile app from here. You can either click on one of these points, it's one of these pitches from the previous day, and if you see an umpire that you want to check out, you can go to the profile app by highlighting their name and going to the profile or you can just go directly to the apps icon here and go to profile. Okay, so the profile app, as it says, it provides a summary for an individual umpire. So this is going to be where um, we put our ranking system on each umpire and, uh, and also provide some characteristics about each umpire. Okay, so the first one is Adam Hamari. It's in alphabetical order. Uh, the number next to the name is their, uh, their rank. So Chad Fairchild, I, I passed him. Um, anyways, let's go Alan Porter, it's ninth. Yeah, so he's ranked nine out of 89 umpires, which gives him a overall star rating of 10. Okay, and so um, as far as this uh, pitch plot right here, the green would be a strike, red ball as always. Um, and all of these pitches are interactive, although they're going to be kind of difficult to isolate um, because there's so many pitches. So there's the greens are on top right here, but underneath are reds. And so what we can do, um, because, I mean, we're looking at 11,257 individual pitches here, um, we can isolate things that we want to look at by using these drop-down selections. Um, so let's say we only wanted to look at called strikes. There you go. We only have the strikes. Let's say that's not enough. We also just want the strikes that he missed. There you go. Um, say, okay, now we want to look at the balls. So you get the idea. And we can look batter hand, right, left, pitcher hand, right, left. Okay. So let's choose another umpire. Let's go Bob Davidson is the last rated umpire. Okay. So let's take a look at what this is telling us over here. Well, we have the rating, and then we have the overall rank, which we went over. And then miss call percentage, this is much like the daily app, um, except instead of looking for one particular game or looking at one particular game, we're looking at his um, total performance. So um, 1,226 missed calls out of 1,001 or out of 11,207 or 10.94%. Um, and then this, these would be the green pitches, the pitches that um, he called strikes. What percent did he miss? So this would be uh, there's 900 pitches here. Um, if I go there and put the total, there would be 4,398. And the same thing with the pitches that he called balls. And so you have his ranking 88th, 82nd, and 53rd in those categories. And then this is just sort of a way to um, get an idea of if the umpire might be um, might favor home teams a little bit more than average. So this is just summing up... Um, uh, the total amount of favorable calls that, that he gives to um, home versus away. Um, he seems to be pretty even, so there's nothing really going on there for Bob Davidson. And then the umpire type, this is based on a rating system, which takes into account um, the percentage of missed calls that go in favor of the pitcher versus batter, as well as the distance of those missed calls. Um, and it's like a weighted average of those things. And, and then you get a, a, a metric, which um, we deemed as pitcher-friendly rating. And that's what they're ranked on um, from 1 to 89, where 89 would be batter-friendly. And so he would be a pitcher-friendly umpire. And so we can get a little bit more of a visual take by going down um, to these tabs. And so you can see he uh, is the second worst umpire, so he's the orange bar. Second worst umpire in terms of total percent missed, where Tim Welk would be the worst and Trip Gibson would be the best. We can look at strikes, same thing. He's pretty close to the top. I mean, it's not showing us anything different than 82 out of 89 here. It's just a little better visual of what the rest of the umpires look like in that category. Same thing for balls. Um, favorable call separation. So this is average. Um, separation and favorable calls by day so the difference between um, one team and the other in terms of how his missed calls went and so on average he's around three three and a half favorable calls um, more favorable calls in one team than the other 
separation expected runs. So this is taking into um, into account the situation. So um, it's taking into account the weight of the situation when um, deeming how um, meaningful his missed calls were in favor of one team over the other. Um, and he's second worst here. Um, Tom Hallian would be the worst, and Toby Basner the best. Okay, and then average distance missed. He's also this is obviously going to be um, highly correlated with um, total percent missed, but it's also just taking into account overall accuracy. So are his missed calls really bad compared to uh, compared to the average? And, and it appears that they are. Um, Trip Gibson, once again, is, is the best in this category. Okay, and then this gives a breakdown of the umpire type, which goes back to that pitcher-friendly rating that I was talking about before. Um, as you can see, he's pitcher-friendly, somewhere in the middle of that pitcher-friendly zone, and then you have umpires that are neutral that land in here, and then umpires that tend to favor the batter that land there. And so this changes based on the umpire you select. So if we go and look at Chris Conroy, he's a batter friendly umpire. Pretty close to neutral though. So, all right, that's about it. So uh, thank you guys for watching.